everybody, MPC Killer here, and I am back for another vlog, dog. So, this week, ah, not too shabby. My air conditioner's still broken, so it's 80 degrees in my house. Woo! My dogs are starving to death because they think they're always hungry. I will feed you when I get to it. Actually, I'll feed them right after this vlog. So, <clears throat> um, this is completely unorganized. I can cover that right now. It's going to be off the top of my head. The, um, I think I explained last episode, or last vlog, that I would let you guys know as soon as I got in the clear about my stuff that happened. Well, it, it was in the papers in my town, so, woohoo. But, um, my lawyer's still working on it. I'll definitely give you a heads up. They have now, uh, because I live in a trailer park, they have now, uh, told me that my parents is not, parents and my brother are not allowed in my trailer park or they will go to jail as well because the people that are, you know... I'm in court with, got upset and pissed off, so now they're calling the park and like, well, he's down here harassing us, well, they're down here harassing us, they're down here driving slow down the house, but they do it at times that are like, you know, noon, my dad's running his own shop at noon, he's got better shit to do, to deal with than white trash that wants to fucking be a pain in my ass, so, but it, the time is getting closer and... Max healed up okay. Um, I healed up pretty good within the week. Um, within a week, I was all healed up and stuff. Uh, they did push my dates back to July for my job. I'm supposed to be going down to Missouri, but I got to call them on Thursday and see if they don't have a secondary job uh, to do beforehand. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. If I go down to Missouri, I'll do a probably a video blog down there. That way you can meet some of my family members. It'd be my uncle and my aunt and my maybe their kids and stuff, my grandmother, whatnot. It'll all be on my phone, so I'll have to just upload it from my phone. But I'll be down there for a week. Um, I'll probably end up doing a vlog, little bits and pieces every day. And I'll have to see if I can get a little laptop or something to take down there with me so I can edit my, my vlog and put it up on the interior net. So... But that'll be fun, right? Um, they own a massively, extremely big farm down in Missouri. And the Ozarks. The, o the Ozarks. So, yeah. I'll be like, come here, boy. Oh, shit, it's killing me. So I get to chase them around. and um, I, I already told them I'm, I'm not denutting a bull because that would just, you know, it'd be weird. But I did find out that you can take a cow tail. Uh, grab a bull by the tail, tail and yank it up, and it puts the cow in neutral. It will not kick. It will not move. It's kind of fun. Just what comes afterwards is not so fun because they put it rubber band or they cut his nutsack. I feel bad for the poor guy. I'm glad I don't have a tail because people will be trying to do that to me all the time. Like, hey, hold still. I'm like, no. Stay away from my tail, damn it. You're not going to put me in neutral and cut my nutsack. Nope, not happening. So, yeah. Um, let me look here. Uh, we released Space Engineers Episode 3 this week, which didn't get very many views. It got 15 views so far, but I, I released it one day late. We've had a lot of issues with my internet lately, and I think we got it fixed. Uh, I found out what was wrong with it, and um, basically the neighbor's dog chewed on my wire. And it was cutting in and out on my signal. So, that's freaking amazing. And I missed it the first time around because, well, I still have not found my glasses. So it's just kind of is what it is. And we got we had the guy out today, and you know, he was a good guy, and he fixed it and, and everything. So it's all fixed. So, woohoo! Awesome, right? My dog's like, What are you talking about? Why are you talking to yourself? So I don't have, I don't know what I'm going to put this behind. Um, because I didn't record, pre-record anything, but I, I should be able to find something. You guys need to, like, if you don't mind, you know, leave me some likes, because that helps. Um, and, and comments to let me know what you want to do. I know I've got insomnia once, and whatnot, so. But, um, I did say I was going to do a question and answer, so, um. A Q, a Q and A. Let me pull up my Q and A. My Q and A questions. Okay, so I got the one from the gentleman, the Joe, which 
I have invited to the server. He just does, does not know it yet because I haven't actually had time to get a hold of him. Um, wait, no, I am Joe is on the server. Yeah, I am Joe's on the server. We got um, another guy that um, he's going to be added to the server. We've got three people that we added to the server this week. Um, one was the musical gaming mage and Stevie H and Joe. I am Joe. So all three of them has been added to the transcendent server that we did get him invited in there. So um, let me find his. Oh, his was where do you see yourself in two years? Um, where I see myself in two years, if the current trend keeps happening um, with YouTube, I see myself doing YouTube full time and um, having enough money to support my f a family so I can have kids. But don't tell my mother. Because if she finds out that I'm thinking about having kids, she's going to start buying baby clothes. And then I'm going to have, like, tons of baby clothes. And she'll be like, oh my god, I got grandchildren! Ah! And I'm like, oh, mom, stop it! And then she'll tell my grandparents, and my grandparents will think that I'm having kids right now. And then it'll just be a big old mess. Big mess. Don't want it. So, but, in two years, I see myself, I don't know, more popular on YouTube. Um, which will be good because as soon as I get real popular, I'm going to start helping more and more helping people that are like, um, hundred subs right now. I went through and did the, um, the, the sub things and I only I picked people that were either exactly half of mine, uh, half of my subs and lower, but a little bit, some of them were a little higher. One had like 75, but there was like 50 and lower. And subs. There's one chick that I'm waiting to hear back from her. She had like six or seven subs, but she did really good on her, you know, her videos and stuff. So I'm hoping I can get her into the server. Um, then we can have a little bit more diversity that way too. So, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what happens on that one. So, but um, you'll have to excuse my ADHD. I mean, I I kick everywhere. Okay, so just here's a random list of questions I found since how nobody really, I don't think anybody even tweeted me questions. T-W-E-E-T. Tweeter. Tweeter. Man, you bring up Twitter in front of my dad. He's like, well, when I was a kid, that meant something completely different. And, ew. Ooh. Bethra. Bethra. So, yeah, no one, uh, no one tweeted me. Come on. I feel lonely. I'm unloved. Nah, you guys are great. Okay, um, what is something you regret? Um, something I regret is having to go to jail. That kind of sucked. Um, that was 24 hours of waste of time, and it would have been great if I would have had my phone because I just would have documented it 24 hours and put it up on YouTube anyway. <laughs> so... Um, if you guys can hear the kids outside, I apologize. It's hot as crap, and I don't have an air conditioner, so the door is open, the window's open. So, um, let's see. What's the biggest lie you ever told? Uh, the biggest lie I ever told was, uh, yeah, someone asked me if they was fat, and I said no. It was a lie. I'm sorry. I, I, I have a hard time making people... Um, mad confrontation thing. Not so much. Um, what do you think of toddlers is another one on the list here. Well, what I think of toddlers is they're a pain in the butt. Once they hit like five and six and they can go to the bathroom and use their microwave, we're pretty good. From baby up, it kind of sucks just because there's a lot of poop and a lot of crying, and I'm not much for uh, loud noises and repetitive blinking. Uh, what what I do for Klondike bar? I would probably I'd probably shoot somebody. I'd shoot somebody for his Klondike bar. What? Calm down. I never said what I'd shoot him with. Jeez. What are you guys thinking? I can't kill somebody for a Klondike bar. They're not even that good. Have you ever had a one night stand? No. I've actually only been with one girl in my life. And that's nine years I'm running almost. 
be May would be holy shit May would be nine years I think don't tell her I said I think but I think May would be nine years almost ten years and still not married still not married not even proposed not even engaged oh well she'll bring it up here in a couple days and I'm like well you know there's those statistics and you, you always said you don't want to be a statistic and she'd be like damn it you're right and I'm like yeah I kind of usually am yeah that's because I know what I'm talking about most of the time all right so the next question here let's see what's your favorite food I'm not gonna lie my favorite food is peanut butter and jelly I uh, literally eat about two loaves of bread a week for peanut butter and jelly and that's alone so I, I kind of love peanut butter and jelly have I met, ever met anybody famous my uncle actually used to be real famous or somewhat famous he used to be a country star um, and then basically when he went to go get a contract and everything his band members sucked so they kept quitting and then they had to repractice and get him up to speed and they would have to they quit and yeah so I count him as a famous person let's see what's my what it's my biggest accomplishment um, 25 years of my life I still got 75 years to go so right now my biggest accomplishment is getting 115 subs on YouTube because you know not very many people can do that um, I mean I, I mean a lot of people w can do it but some people spend years and years and years on YouTube and they never get it so I wouldn't consider that a accomplishment um, I've never wrecked my car Oh, I've wrecked one car. I, I won't lie, I've wrecked one car. But I haven't wrecked my current car. So, um, that's, uh, that's a benefit. So, that, that could be a, an accomplishment. But I wouldn't call it my biggest one. Uh, the biggest accomplishment, I guess I'm going to have to say, is eight to nine years with the one girl. And not losing her. So, and, you know, that's a massive achievement, I think. So... And being alive so let's see the next one if someone played a prank on you in a shower and posted it on the internet without your permission how would you feel revengeful because it's got uh, because whoever does it to me out of people that I know they've got like three people on their fate on their YouTube I've got 115 that would love to watch me dump something or pull a prank on somebody in the shower or even in general they would uh they would regret that so the power of the internet the power of the people do you fight with words or hands um depending on situation uh, my biggest um my my most skilled part of my body is my mouth uh, I can uh, I can pretty much sell anything and now that I'm getting more and more confident about myself on YouTube I'm getting more and more famous on it so um, I'm, that makes me more confident but my mouth is literally the devil because I can um, I've been told that I can sell uh, rubbers to the Pope so most of the time I fight with words when push comes to shove I can fight with my hands I don't care um, it gets a little bit vicious but I can do it what if the movie Pur The Purge ever came our reality? We was watching that the other night. And basically, I told Amber that um, I would be a better shot. Because anybody come near my house is going to die um, on the night of The Purge. Uh, just to protect my family and stuff. And the guy underestimated his security and he's an idiot for giving the uh, password to open everything to the kid um, I know it's wrong to um, sacrifice one guy's life for yours but 
next time that guy that next year that guy's gonna rethink his uh his security and get some better bunker. Hello, brick walls. So that was saying with that being said, um yeah, the purge would suck. I think I'd rather just take the chances with the current reality. Uh, what's your take on teenage drinking? I didn't drink until after I was 18. Um, but if, I believe that if a teen is going to drink, they're going to drink. So if they're going to drink, they're going, they should really do it at the house and not drive. Because drinking and driving is just ridiculously stupid. Um, I've never done it, never plan on doing it. But, um... Teens really shouldn't be drinking, but depends on the age. If they're in the house and consented and, you know, watched by their parents, it's better they do it there than at somebody else's house, you know. In either case, it's still illegal. Um, the next question on this list is, should we legalize marijuana? Due to the fact that my girlfriend is in um, in the medical field, I would have to say yes, because the marijuana plant has a shit ton of medical uses. So, on the aspect of the legalizing, yes, uh, maybe not so much to the public, but definitely legalizing more or less to the um, medical part of it. So, the legalizing of weed to the medical is fine. Um, if you legalize it in general, people go apeshit for a year or two, but then it'll die down and people will mellow back out, is what I'm assuming. They'll mellow back out, you know, come off their high, and then they'll realize that, you know, eh. Now that we can do it all the time, we're only going to do it half the time. But then you got your hardcore stoners. But with that, you have to also legal... Um, you know, pull the the intoxication and driving up up again. If you're stoned, don't be driving. Don't be walking around. Stay in your house. Enjoy your time there. Um, the next question is, um, do you think Obama is doing a good job? We're gonna skip that one. Let's see. What else can we ask? What are my favorite animals? My animals, um, I have dogs, I would have to say. Um, dogs and horses are pretty badass. Uh, not so much in cats, but definitely dogs and horses. Basically, a horse is a big-ass dog anyway. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Um, I would have to pick telekinesis because I would never go to work. Because I would just control everything from home. Um, if you were a superhero, who would your si who would be your sidekick? Um, my personality don't allow me to have sidekicks, but I'd pick Wonder Woman. I don't know why. If your dog had a mustache, what would you name him or her? If my dog had a mustache, I would name him. I don't know what I'd name him. I got one that is a mustache. His name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. So we'll have to go with that. So that's about all I have for questions. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little section of it. Um, I'm looking into maybe recruiting people to do webcast and stuff like that with me. I have been told that my voice is very awesome and this and that. I don't believe them, but I'm going to go with it. Um, the, if we do a voice or a webcast every week. It's going to be on games, Minecraft, and, you know, general life. Just talking randomly, bullshit, and whatnot. So, um, I'm looking for people like that. That'll be one of the few times that I put my face on camera and my house. Um, you know, I don't do that very often. It's, you know, just not my thing. Uh, I don't like kit pictures, so it's kind of, I'm kind of, um, weird like that so but just so you guys know um Yotzi wants to record a agrarian sky series with me so i'm going to record the whole agrarian sky series and then i'm going to edit it and then i'll post it out after that so 
it's either that or um, we just started a map. We did about an hour and a half of it. I've got to get it up and posted. Oh, excuse me. And um, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Space Engineers is going to continue as far as I know as long as no one drops out on me. I know Yotsi won't drop out, but I don't know if KTR will drop out on me because he's got a lot of stuff he's got to get done. So I'm hoping I can get another two hours of recording in this weekend. If not, um, I kind of forgot to take him to work today. Um, we got stuck in traffic because someone decided to wreck the car. Uh, which brings me to the next subject. People, when you drive, please drive carefully. Don't freaking wreck because it hurts a lot. Um, yeah, it, it just it's rough. It's costly. It hurts. It just fucks up your day. So... But yeah, I'm hoping I can get a little bit of recording in from KTR and Yotsi this weekend. Uh, we got to get Yotsi back in. I recorded about an hour of it, but the shadow play did not pick up my voice at all. So that one was trashed out because I thought I was like, well, maybe it just didn't pick it up. And I recorded with uh, Audacity, and that was not the case. So yeah, that was uh, that was a bad one. Which sucks because that was a good two hours. We actually brought Yotzi in and we got him into the, the series and he was having fun and we was having fun and we didn't do much. Uh, we added a couple medical bays that we'll have to tear out, but that's about it. Uh, the, it's been updated by so much since we last played. When we get back in, we're going to be able to go through and go haywire. We got wheels, we got um, glass, we got conveyor belts, grinders for ships and stuff like that. Our day is going to go ape shit um i've been playing around with it in creative and i'm going to start playing around in my single player series um well it's not really serious because i'm not recording it, but i'm just playing around a single player because i just go out and grab a ship and come back in tear it down see what i can build and i hardly go mining at all um they got the turrets back in there so if a um decoy or a like uh an asteroid i guess comes in it'll shoot the asteroid down so it doesn't hit the ship and whatnot so all in all it's it's all good fun um i like i said the series gonna go on for a little bit and whatnot so but like i said before guys i'm gonna end this now it's already 23 minutes in maybe 22 depending after i cut out my little goofy mic test crap in the beginning um please just you know leave a like i want to see if i can get up to 10 likes this week on at least one of my sh one of my uh, my videos and then next week we'll set the bar up to like 15 and then if I start getting a bunch of likes I'll start buying um, I'll start buying games on the steam sale and stuff and giving them away so uh, the more likes I get the more games I'll buy so if I get up to like 500 likes I'll buy five games so we'll say every hundred likes I buy a game and just give it out to a random person on the internet and it'll be a steam game and Whoever comments, subscribed, and liked, we'll get a uh, we'll get a game. So that's uh, that's my commitment to you. But so but this week I would like to at least start out with you know ten. Get you ten uh, ten likes in there, and the next week, like I said, we'll go to fifteen. We'll just increment it up every week and make a little contest. Um, I don't know if anybody wants to, but I will give them the game from Dust. If they want to make me a new skin that is somewhat res or you know resembles somewhat of the skin that I got now, but I don't have time to make a skin. This the one I made was trash, and I, I'm beginning to not like it again. So if anybody wants to make me a skin, just uh, the best skin wins. We'll give it about a month. If no one replies, then I'll just keep the game and give it away on my first hundred. But again, that game's uh, from Dust, and it is a Steam download. I think I got Battleship somewhere, and from the Humble Bundle, I can give that one away too. Or not Battleship, Battlefield. Battlefield 3, I think. So, But anyway, guys, take it easy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget we're, going, uh, we're trying to hit 10 likes this week. And take it easy. Don't forget to check out everybody on Transcendence and definitely check out the new people because uh, they're kind of interesting. All right, guys, take it easy.
Peace.